uh, and also uh, Bobby, uh, the head of uh, Adin from NTT, so thank you very much. Uh, I want to recognize also our ambassador uh, in Dili, Pa Okto, right? And then Pa, ambassador of Indian State uh, in Jakarta, Pa Silomino. And then uh, the, the head of the Timor-Leste State Chamber of Commerce, Pa uh, Oscar Pui. So uh, the format is very simple. Uh, President Kodera Masorka will uh, give his marks, and after that we'll have an open uh, back and forth uh, questions. Anything, this is a non-media uh, event, uh, Michael's ask him anything you wish, uh, because, uh, and make the best use of it, because uh, uh, anything. So, uh, thank you very much, and the floor is yours, President Masorka. Thank you, uh, Dino, for for the uh, kind introduction. And uh, I have to say publicly that because uh, the Dino was chair of the earlier, he pushed it to chair of the company. I have uh, another engagement, and uh, that is with Tunisia. Thank you so much for uh, organizing this uh, uh, meeting, uh, this dinner, yeah. on this uh, first uh, state visit to It has been very intense, very productive in uh, uh, strengthening, uh, upgrading the relationship with Indonesia. The President Jokoyu himself came up with some uh, ideas with, uh, conversation with me uh, and uh, the rest of my delegation to uh, for instance, we can set up an industrial park along the border of East Timor and West Timor to benefit from the most uh, tariff-free privileges with European Union, Australia and other uh, industrialized countries where we have tariff-free agreements, uh, privileges, not agreements, they just have it, and uh, which we never made use of, except uh, coffee, uh, coffee export, particularly to the United States, but also in the past to Germany, but by many uh, United States, somehow by 40% of the new costs. Uh, and of course, we have uh, some oil and gas measure of project, which is greater surprise, uh, in the Timor Sea, uh, following the successful negotiations with Australia on maritime boundary delimitation, Timor now is uh, almost at 100 percent owner of the gas reserves in the Timor Sea. On top of it, Timor Leste bought off the shares of Coloco Phillips, so we are now the majority owner of the uh, operation. Uh, negotiations are ongoing according to the government. Probably by November, we will, we will reach an agreement to bring the pipeline to the West. Uh, and then, within a few years, uh, commercial production will start, which would enable the West to move from diesel, expensive, to cleaner energy, not renewable, but cleaner. There have been quite a few. Uh, Good news the last uh, few days. Uh, uh, yesterday, the day before, in Delhi, uh, the government signed with the US uh, Millennium Challenge Corporation the almost $500 million grant agreement uh, uh, focused on infrastructures, uh, a teacher training school, uh, and uh, water sanitation. Uh, Drainage, drainage, drainage of the city to avoid floods during rain season. By November this year, 28 November, the new uh, terminal port of Tiba 
Dili uh, will be inaugurated. That was uh, over $400 million first TPP. Uh, Timor Leste, IFC, a uh, French company, Bolloway, but executed by China Harbor. Uh, so it's not a Chinese law, not a Chinese grant. Uh, China Harbor uh, is simply a contractor shouldered by Bolloway, who won the uh, international bid to do the design of the port. So that will, so it's a modern port and will be managed by Bolloway for 30 years. So it will be highly professional uh, port. Because in the past, uh, the port was small and with inefficient management, uh, some containers will be sitting in the ships for sometimes one month, sometimes even two months. And uh, so that will improve. Two airports are being rehabilitated. The Dili airport will uh, start in June. Uh, again, Timor Leste, uh, IFC, and the Japanese government. The Japanese government uh, doing the uh, Air terminal. The Americans are really taking a long airport built by the Portuguese in the six, late sixties, very good runway, over two thousand meters, up and down, but the runway is still quite good, solid. The U.S. Uh, Army engineers are the ones uh, doing the job, uh, really taking the airport. So we will have uh, at least three international airports. The Dili one, which is the main, the Rampau, and the Wekusi. as a good uh, standard airport. Uh, and in addition, uh, somebody cable coming from Port Heaven, Australia, from uh, Alo, and from Matambua to Motarai, and then uh, fiber optic to Bakugade. So we'll have in two, three years, 21st century connectivity. Uh, and hopefully, uh, by the end of uh, this uh, 2023, Timor will join ASEAN as the 11th member. There have been several uh, ASEAN missions to Timor Leste in the last two years. Uh, the month of July, this month, two missions have been there. And all the reports that we hear informally, because they are not reporting to us, they are reporting to the head of state of ASEAN. But to be here, they were very impressed with the Timor Leste achievements, progress. Uh, we are joining WTO uh, next year. The process of Timor Leste adherence admission to WTO went very fast, but faster than uh, ASEAN. Uh, normally, a accession, accession to WTO takes about 10 years, some even longer. With Timor Leste, it is taking only five years. A record time. And WTO is also sharing the information with the ASEAN side uh, to see that Timor Leste is more than uh, prepared to join uh, ASEAN. With that, Timor Leste will uh, have a market with ASEAN of 700 million people, $4 trillion plus. And uh, we are very ambitious. We want to make uh, Timor Leste a regional web hub, uh, a regional air cargo hub, aircraft maintenance, not of course us making maintenance, but you know, uh, people coming from Dubai, coming from Singapore, whatever, bringing their aircraft for maintenance in Macau rather than in expensive limited space for Singapore. And also, uh, Dockyards, ship maintenance, some Korean companies are very interested in that, even in shipbuilding. But uh, we'll be happy just with the maintenance for small recreational boats like yachts, fishing boats, etc. So this will be some of the things. The, the old port of Dili, once we move to the new one, will become a marina. USA has done a preliminary, preliminary design which I've seen, uh, and, uh, but then it will uh, go through, I think, tender to invite uh, investors uh, to 
transform the whole uh, front, uh, the seafront area from the old port all the way to blessed area. So these are some of the activities and we hope, I know it is not a great time to invite people for uh, investments anywhere because of the global situation, uh, inflation, recession, very uh, looming, very serious recession, and the some studies say as never before, the worst ever, but also uh, uh, wise business people, uh, they know when to see the opportunity to invest when everybody else don't want to. Many, many years ago, Portugal was in a, a deep trouble following the financial crisis with a supine in the US. I was traveling in the north of Portugal, some friends of mine invited me there. I was on the boat traveling on the river and I saw uh, signs. Houses everywhere, same, same, same. I said, God, if I had money, I would buy all of this. Because then I said, this region of Portugal will be the end of Europe 10, 20 years from now. Yes, it has been already. The best, uh, most sought after destination in Europe today. Uh, uh, Lisbon and Porto, they are rivaling with Barcelona, with London in terms of numbers of tourists. Of course, not right now because it's forbidden to everywhere. So, only to emphasize that uh, some of you are really naturally concerned about the, the global financial economic situation, but uh, there are always windows of opportunity, and you will be always welcome to come to Timor-Leste. We have many Timorese uh, partners here, potential partners who are here, the president of Timor. Chamber of Commerce uh, and the many others who are recognized, uh, almost all of them here in this room, uh, that uh, would be very happy to work with you, speaking the same language, uh, Bahasa and Indonesia, uh, know each other uh, very well, uh, great relationship, my brothers, my sisters, and uh, that too, it's not a political uh, speech. And uh, I'm the one who should be embarrassed for not speaking Bahas in the region. I don't know, I few words because my first trip ever to Indonesia was in June, uh, to Jakarta, June, June 74. But before that, I was a frequent visitor to Kupang in the early 70s. I became friends with Gubernur Ertai. And uh, I went to Kupang in June 74 on my way to Jakarta and to get advice from the Altai and support. I did I had money only to get to Kupang. I went on this very old plane from World War II, the Zangu. A crazy American pilot was uh, he was just out of the Vietnam of Korea War and flying Zangu and with a very high nose in the plane. And uh, so flew to Cuba, met with Altari, he paid my ticket to the car. He sent one of his aides to, to escort, escort me, or oh, Luis Taoli. And I remember him very well, Luis Taoli. And, uh, and uh, Altari told him in front of me and said, boy with runners to the car, don't let anybody do any harm, misread him. Well, we arrived in Jakarta, we saw all this up here. Of course, he was tempted into Jakarta my life, and I was left, I was left alone in the world. And of course, I found my way around by uh, scooter, uh, better, all around. Then I met with some great friends, and I made, begin to make some friends. One, Hari Kolilar. Agus Parenkwan, Kompas, George Alejandro, Tempo, and Sadar Siyadjian. At the time he was with uh, Sinharapa, then later with Jakarta Post. So, uh, and they were, Sadar Siyadjian would give me money for my transportation, for some food. <laughs> and, uh, and I managed to meet Akhali, Anamali. That was June 74. I was only 25 or 24 years old. 
that was my first diplomatic expedition. So, oh, sorry, the voice of Maria, sorry. so very familiar with Indonesia, great admiration for the, your great country that has made an incredible journey from, from 98, 99 to what it is today, president of G20, to be president of ASEAN, the chairman of ASEAN, the next few months. And I hope, I told you for you and others, that I hope we join ASEAN by November 23 during Indonesia presidency. Sometimes we have been working on this for 10 years, at least, even before, but formally in 2011. Sometimes make, uh, the delay, the demands uh, from some in ASEAN make me uh, uh, say, uh, think that sometimes it's easier to uh, get to the gates of heaven then uh, to the gate of Asia. <laughs> so first, in the journey to Asia, you have to uh, do all the perfections into the criteria they are required to enter heaven. Then next step is Asia. And, uh, so, uh, but I hope that uh, we come come to Earth. <laughs> that, uh, that we join in November twenty three. And I thank you, and very soon I will have to leave the room to some other uh, engagement. And I leave, uh, but I will stay here for a while. Thank you. Thank you. Your Excellency. The President of the United States, and also the Ambassador of the United States of Indonesia, and also Papa, the President of the United States, and uh, of course, Papa Stalina, uh, the Chamber of Commerce of the United States. And of course, my, uh, this is a man from the International Papa, you know, Papa Dijama, and of course, the Shinta, the UK, and everyone here who are attending tonight's meetings. Uh, first of all, uh, Mr. President, welcome to Indonesia. It's always what what you just talk about the story of the Malaysia. I think it's an amazing story, and which then uh, for Indonesia as country uh, is the Chamber of Commerce and Industry of Indonesia, and we actually represent the whole private sectors in Indonesia. And with that, we also would like to have more strengthened relationship between Indonesia and the United States. And particularly, uh, we have in all the provinces, but the nearest province to the United States is Nusa Tenggara Timur, And that's why here today, uh, there is the chair of the Kadim MPP, a very young, energetic businessman. And, uh, and all, we also have uh, the UN, the governor of the MPP, who's also very, very energetic, but I think I like that. And actually, we were there about a week ago, uh, and uh, we had a discussion with the governor, and his deputy governor, and also we told the stories how actually we would like to strengthen this relationship between Indonesia and the Middle East through the And uh, and also just now, Mr. President, I think we would like to actually be able to perhaps work together with the, your government and with the chamber to work and study on those trade uh, agreements that we have uh, with other countries. In which perhaps then with that we are able to see what kind of things that we can do between uh, using the, the proposal that Pancho Widodo and yourself and the conversation and discussion uh, early today. And hopefully we can create this uh, working group perhaps uh, between us in which then we can actually see what we can study it and then look at what sectors will be the right sectors to be actually investing or doing that uh, economic uh, development together between Indonesia and uh, the Americans. And I'd like to also greet all uh, the businesses, the business uh, entrepreneurs from the United States. All know, we know Jakarta very well, but I just want to like welcome you also to Jakarta. And hopefully by this initial meeting, we can have more strategy of that and to see what kind of cooperation between uh, the, both businesses of Indonesia and also to the United States. 
So with that, uh, uh, Mr. President, uh, we really, really like, as you say, brothers and sisters, and I, I think it's, it's a fact, it's from the heart. And with that, it's something that we can perhaps do together and to see how we can create this battle between the families, people of Indonesia and also the people of the uh, North East. So with that, uh, again, uh, Your Excellency, uh, uh, thank you for being here and to have the dinner with all of us here. And also, we would like to also invite uh, Mr. President for the uh, businesses of the Timor uh, Leste that we will be hosting as you know the sea train, but also we have the tea train, the business train, and we'll be a back to back with the tea train. It will be November 13th, 14th. And uh, uh, my good friend, Kushinda, she is chairing the tea train. And so we would like to also invite uh, businesses from Timor Leste to participate in the tea train. And we have actually also side events basically uh, along until November. If any of the businesses of the Molesta business would like to join in, we welcome them. But then there will be a 13 14 in November. But at that also, we will have not only the business committee, but we we'll also have the World Economic Forums, we have the uh, Bloomberg, we also have going to have some this kind of one of the things about oceans and other things. Uh, and, and I think it's good to have this conversation uh, among all of us uh, in this regard. So with that, again, our invitation to come to the D20s uh, uh, Indonesia. And again, make, perhaps next year we can also work together on the ASEAN. Because next year we'll be also, as you know, we're chairing the ASEAN. And we'll be also having what we call the CEO follows of ASEAN and ASEAN Plus. Hopefully today, across our finger, we'll be planning to have the ASEAN in Labuan Bajo, which is very next to uh, near to uh, Timor Leste. And that is something that we, again, perhaps there is things that we can actually do together and create such events or something like that. It will be very interesting. So again, thank you very much uh, for the evening and thank you for all, everyone to be here. And again, again thank you to our, all our brothers and sisters from Timor Leste. Thank you and thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, I think I've been told that uh, we should proceed to the signing of the MOU uh, between uh, the Cadin and CCI. Please. Thank you, Padino. On this very special occasion in President Ramos Cadin's presence, we want to take this opportunity strengthen cooperation between Indonesia and Timor Leste. Here with us today we have representatives from both Indonesia and Timor Leste's Chairman of Commerce and Industry. So with that we wish to invite the Chairman of Kadi Indonesia, Pa Arshad Rashid, and President of Timor Leste's Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Mr. Oscar Lima, to come up to the front for the MOE signing. Thank you. Now you may please uh, hold up the MOU to the audience. Perhaps pose for a photo shoot, smile into the camera. One more pose. Uh, a handshake. Okay, everyone, please let's give a big round of applause. Tangannya itu 
clean my room. Okay, so this is the informal, if you want to ask any question or if you want to make any suggestions or ideas or update us, uh, please uh, do so. I would like to invite anybody who raised their hand. Uh, okay, the gentleman on table 10, uh, Bobby, anyone else? Sahar, is it? Oh no, okay. The lady on table 4, okay. Uh, gentleman on table 10, please. Okay, baik, perkenalkan nama saya Anthony, terima kasih atas waktunya. Uh, saya mau tanya, saya sudah invest di Demokrasi dari tahun 2009. Waktu itu saya kita invest di bidang pertanian dan kita datangani oleh Pak Asarami di sana uh, sebagai Menteri Pertanian waktu itu dan juga uh, oleh Ibu Lucia Lutato waktu itu sebagai Menteri Uh, agraria. Nah, izinnya kita pada waktu itu uh, <coughs> sudah disetujui oleh ini dan juga pemaparan di depan Pak Sanan Ustol. Nah, setelah itu, kita memulai initial project dan kita start from 2009 sampai 2015 sudah ada clearing dan sebagainya lalu bendungan juga sudah dibangun Lalu after 2015 ya waktu itu ada pemilu yang Asanami ya Ya waktu itu ada pemilu Pak Asanami mengobrol become the minister di hati Nah lalu setelah itu uh, the new minister Sony Pusey Dan semua itu all in my project That's what happened Pak nah, Until now 2019 saya bertemu dengan Pak Joaquin Pak Yulaki, ya, New Minister yang waktu itu ya Pak Yulaki atau Prosenekti Nah, selain itu untuk menanyakan apakah masih tertarik Pak Yulaki tanya saya, segera mungkin masih tertarik And then, after that, juga saya berusaha, saya sekarang saya berusaha terima kabarnya lagi Pak Jadi mungkin I get your attention, that's what happened Itu saja, terima kasih Pak So uh, basically, President, uh, the gentleman had an agricultural project uh, in uh, Timor-Leste, uh, but somehow it was uh, discontinued. Uh, and then uh, he met uh, the minister in charge of it, uh, the subsequent government, and he was also uh, promised that it would continue. Uh, but until now, there has not been a uh, follow-up uh, to, to that. So he was asking. Uh, what should you do? Uh, now we go to table. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Babu B uh, from the uh, Kadi, please. If you get it, Babu B, thank you. Yang kami hormati, His Excellency President Timur-Leste, Dr. Ramadhan, Dr. Soto. Yang kami hormati, Ketumunan Indonesia, Mr. Jajarannya. Yang kami hormati Bapak Dino Pati Jawa dan uh, Bapak uh, Oscar Lima, Chamber of Commerce and Industry di Malaysia dan juga semua yang hadir pada malam hari ini singkatnya um, Introduce my name is Ben Bilianto, he is the Chamber of, Chamber of Commerce of Nusa Tenggara Timur Just about two months ago, we opened to be or your inauguration and then with uh, our governor, Mr. 
Mr. Victor Mongrilu as well. And after that, we go directly have a meeting with the CCI Timor Leste, Mr. Oscar Lima. And after that, we uh, discuss about, uh, we went to the supermarket central, we talking about first export our product from Nusa Tenggara Timur. And just about one month after that, we go directly export our first product from Nusa Tenggara Timur to deal. So now in Central, we have uh, our the first stage. Uh, you can see product of Nusa Tenggara Timur already in deal. So uh, we are really happy to uh, make a relation with Timor Leste. Uh, one that we really hope about this MOU is actually a free trade zone. We are we know that this is a very important for us, actually for West Timor and Timor Leste. And when we when we went there, we said that we are Timor and you are Timor. We live in Timor, you are living in Timor, and we hopefully that uh, free trade soon we can uh, do it faster.